Welcome back to Star Ocean Second Story R. In the last episode, Rena got kidnapped. Oh, we're in like this mansion area. We gotta find a way out of this place. When I was walking past the study the other day, I heard someone saying something about a statue and something about it opening things. What do you think that was about? So I remember playing Second Evolution last year in uh, Epic Claude story. Claude had to go from Arlia to Salva, which is where we're at now. We're in Salva. And you have to come here and rescue her. But in this, since we're playing as Reyna, we get to see her perspective. Miss Reyna, I am deeply sorry for what was, for what has happened. It was Master Allen who took you here, wasn't it? I wish there was something I could do to help. Unfortunately, Master Allen has the only key to the house. There's nothing I can do to help you escape. The door's locked. I wonder if there's another way out. We get fried egg. A whole egg fried on just one side. Covers 5% HP all allies. Wow. Miss Reyna, why? Master Allen started acting strange after acquiring a peculiar stone. Since then, he hasn't even been eating properly. What could have happened to him? He's gone mad. There's got to be a hidden exit somewhere. There we go. Where am I? I had no idea a tunnel like this exists under the mansion. Ah! There's someone on the ground! Bosman! Are you alright? Oh, Raina! Why are you here? That's what I was gonna ask you! Oh! You're hurt! I'll be fine. But what are you doing here, Reyna? I was taken here by Alan. He was going on about a wedding in some kind of altar. I see. Well, Alan had me build this bizarre room inside the Salva Mines for him. Guess now I know what the altar's for, I'm afraid. Something's wrong with that boy. He's got this stone. And every time he looks at it, he cracks this smile that makes him look like a madman. I was frankly too scared to go on. But when I tried to escape, this happened to me. Reyna, if you're the one he's after, you better get out of here fast. I can't just leave you here, Bosman. I'll be all right. I'll leave the mansion once I've rested up a bit. But you don't have that kind of luxury, Reyna. But... This mansion is connected to the Salva Mines on the inside. You might be able to find your way back to town through there. Now get moving. I'll be fine. Just get out of here while you have the chance. Alright, the first dungeon in the game, the Salva Mines. We better be careful. The bonus gauge. Collect enough of the spears that enemies drop to trigger bonus effects. There could be up to three bonus effects. Use them to gain the advantage in battle. 
Enemies will drop spears in the following situations. Enemy is defeated, a critical hit. The enemy is broken. Breaks in particular allow, you, allow for large amounts of spears to be obtained. So actively aim to break enemies when possible. Bonus gauge breaks. Bonus gauge will break in the following situations. A perfect counter fails. The current character becomes incapacitated. Battle begins with enemy back attack. The gauge will be completely reset if broken. Let me use the spectacles first. I already used one on them, but we gotta use one on the kobold. There we go. Yeah, so we got a brand new mechanic collecting these spears that was not in the original game. Yeah, so we can't exit the mines, obviously. We got enemies. It's all over. What happens when we get up to fifty of the of these spears? And by the way, you gotta go the other way to advance the storyline, but I wanted to come over here and. Or the other parts of the mine. You all right? Almost got fifty. One more battle now will, unless it resets. Here we get an anklets and some blueberries. Anklet. Ooh, boost defense. A three, I'd rather have that than the one evasion. Yeah, long gone are the days of random encounters. Because that's what the original game had was random encounters. I was hoping it would turn around. There we go. Hope we got new to me. Vorpal Bunny. They're definitely the strongest enemies around here. Hey, watch it. <laughs> this is about jumping up and down. That's funny. Just like it did in the original game. You all right? Okay. So, I think we healed more than what we normally would have. Because of the bonus, I think. I think it's what that did. So it's just like the bonus gauge from uh, Star Ocean 3. Blackberries. Which, I'll be honest, that system in 3 was a hit and miss for me. Like, sometimes I liked it, but other times it was like, I felt bad every time it would break, you know. Like, I'm like, dang it, I wish that wouldn't have broke. Okay, now we got a bonus of defense plus 20%. Oh shit, well, defense doesn't matter if I die. I am playing on universe. This ain't my first rodeo. Dang, it takes a lot more to... Ugly accessory. <laughs> Damn thing's ugly. Reduces day's time. That's actually pretty good. 
because you get days a lot more in this game because of the brake system. So that's actually very handy. Not a lot of SP for them. It's like impossible for those lizard axemen to get a hit on Reyna because she just attacks too fast for it. They attack pretty slow, so. Unless they get attacked from behind, of course. Uh, good. So I wonder if, uh, if you load up a... Cause does the gauge go away when you s reload your save file? Because in Star Ocean, till the end of time it did. That was one of the problems with the bonus gauge in Star Ocean 3. Was if you quit playing your gauge goes back to normal. So. I don't know if it works the same in this game or not. I want to fight every enemy though. I'm going to I'm gonna start avoiding enemies now. Okay, we got a unique spot here. Quietly gleaming minerals. The mining town of Salva is home to rich veins of metals and gems that find their way into weapons and accessories. Though small, the gemstones are high gr grade and popular as gifts. That's cool. Got some ruby and silver there, leveled up too. Which I'm not really, didn't really want to level up, but whatever. Oh yeah, let me analyze these scumbags because I didn't do it earlier. Yeah, thieving scum. I plan to use spectacles on every enemy if, as long as I remember to anyway. I might forget, but I'll, I'll try, I'll do my best to remember to use the spectacles on every enemy. I want to anyway, but never get a buckler. Hell yeah, I want to equip it. No, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna take the weaker item or have the weaker shield equipped. All right, we're good to go to the objective now. Maybe, oh, we can go over here too. I think guarding a couple chests. Spectacles. Alright. That's it for the Salva Mines for now until later. It'll ex we can go deeper into this place later.
What is this place? Ah, my sweet bride. So wonderful of you to make it to our little wedding. Reina, my dear. You should know by now that you can't escape from me. Alan, what is wrong with you? You weren't like this before. No, I wasn't. I've changed. And I have the stone to thank for that. Alan! But that's a trifle matter not worth killing yourself over. Shall we begin the ceremony? Reina! That's close enough! So you're out. Let Reina go. Do you have any idea what you're doing? If you'll excuse me. Me, sir. We are in the middle of a holy ceremony. In just a moment, we will be together as one. I would appreciate it if you would show some respect. Now then, my Reina. No! Mr. Kenny, help me! Stop it! This isn't anything holy! You can't force someone into marriage like this! Force? I think you're a tad mistaken here. We are in love with each other. Love with each other. Love! Alright, that was the second boss of Star Ocean Second Story R. Or the first that's I think I said the second boss. I meant to say first boss. Yep, anyway. 150 EXP, 250 full, 6 SP, and 3 battle points. I don't talk during boss battles, so that's why I didn't say anything. But let's go ahead and unpause here and Or not unpause, but press X and advance the story. possessed by something but people don't just turn into this kind of monster what's going on here Alan you were such a good person too Reina 
Why did this have to happen? Oh. Oh. Alan! He's still breathing. I've been stuck in a dream for days. I guess that stone was what caused all this trouble. Once it's gone, that was enough to turn him back to normal. I'm so happy for you. Now let's go back to the mansion. We can figure everything out over there. I did all of that? Yes, you did, I'm afraid. It was a terrible experience. Wow. I can't remember a thing. You're telling me I had Bosman build that altar for me? Yep. It was about two weeks ago that you sent me the order. Now that I think about it, that was around the time I started to notice you acting strangely. Like you were in your own little world or something. It must have been that stone. Whatever power that stone's emitting was enough to mentally transform you. I think you're right about that. The first time I saw that stone, it was like something swelled up inside my head. I felt like I could literally do no wrong. That I was right, and everyone else was to do my bidding. I don't remember much after that, but I don't think I'll ever be able to forget what it felt like at that single moment. Alan. Reyna, I'm sorry. I know I was unconscious during that time, but I feel terrible for doing those things to you. Don't feel bad, Alan. Besides, you're back to normal, and I know the real Alan would never do anything like that. Thank you. We better hurry back to Arlia. Your mom's worried about you, Reyna. Yeah. I need to go explain what happened to everyone in Salva. Hopefully they'll be understanding. Well, looks like we owe you our thanks once again. You saved Reyna's life not once, but twice now. Oh, no. I hardly did anything worth thanking me for. So is that what started this whole little episode? That little stone he found in the Salva Mines? That's the only explanation I can think of. When the stone shattered, Alan snapped back to normal. Mm. First you go mad, then you transform into a monster. That stone almost reminds me of the sorcery globe. Yes, it does seem to be that way. Perhaps the two are related somehow. The sorcery globe. That's just something that popped into my mind, anyway. It sounds like the town of Salva is in an uproar right now. As if Alan didn't cause enough chaos, rumors about the hero have made it over there as well. I'm sorry. I know you had warned me about that. Ah, uh, do not take that as a criticism. It was unavoidable with your mind focused upon saving Reyna's life. Still, the story has spread too far now. Hiding it any longer will prove to be very impractical. 
I see. Would you mind investigating the sorcery globe for us, Mr. Kenny? I know this is an awfully selfish request, but frankly, I cannot think of anyone more fitting for the task. I as well believe Alan's fit of madness has something to do with the sorcery globe. If you could save him, then perhaps you could do yet more for us. Mr. Kenny? All right, I'll do it. You will? Ah, but, but first, let me just remind you that I'm not the hero. Saving the world is just way beyond me, I'm afraid. But I think the Sorcery Globe might provide some useful information for my own personal reasons. If I can help everyone else in the process, then I figure it'd be worthwhile, you know? Thank you very much, Mr. Kenny. We will help you out as best we can. Thank you, but I'm not making any promises. Could you take me with you, Mr. Kenny? Raina! You heard what the mayor just said. I want to help out as best I can. But Reyna, it's going to be dangerous. I fully understand that, but I just know I will be of some help to you along the way. You don't know very much about this land, do you, Mr. Kenny? So you're going to need some kind of guide in your travels. I could at least provide you with that, right? I suppose so, yes, but... Come on, Mayor, help me out here. That's right, Mr. Kenny. Why don't you take her along if that's what she wants? Mayor! I'm sure she'll be a tremendous asset on the road. Please, think it over, son. Okay, I got it. But get your mom's permission first, Reyna. I'm not going to let you come with me unless she gives the green light. Yeah, I know. In that case, you should probably head for Cross first. That's a pretty large town, so I'm sure you'll find some leads there. Take care on your way home, Reyna. It's starting to get chilly, so don't catch cold now. Oh, I'll be all right. My house is right over there, you know. I'm not being a burden on you, am I? I know I kind of forced you into this. No, of course not. Um, listen, I... Yes? Raina, are you still here? I thought you'd be back home by now. Have a good night. Ah, oh, welcome back, Raina. Oh, did you see that? It said friendship changed. Let's see if we can... Oh no, we can't. Formations allow bonus effects in battle to be toggled. Accumulated spears are shared, shared by all formations. Fill multiple bonus gauges to be used for different purposes. Okay. So this one we get... Attack plus 
defense plus 25% and then hit plus 30 for the first one here linear motion that's cool that they have bonus effects and everything I don't think they had any bonus effects in the other game obviously level 2 of 2 I guess later they can go up higher, or is that it? Probably not. They can probably go up higher than that. It's probably just the limit for now. Oh, but I'm in the video here. Thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for the next episode. Later.